come on, come in, step up, step in. Stop being scared, come on, log in. Chat rules, no rules, anything goes. Let's see you run your mouth when I expose. Tell you something else. <laughs> You're not getting wrong. <laughs> There's no black person there, is there? Ah, idiot. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, my thoughts on the red situation, you know, it, there's a whole history about that. Uh, there's a whole history about, you know, about, you know, this red situation, like, as far as the land and Israel, guys, country after the Second World War, you know. And if you look before that, where are you talking about Israelis, Jewish people were there too, and Palestinians. So they were all mixed up. I don't know what. The percentages were running, but Israel got its land. And there came Gaza, and there's Lebanon, Egypt, you know, there's Iraq and Iran, they're, they're to the west, I believe, you know, and there's Syria up north. But it's like, you know, it's a, it, it's traditionally a Jewish culture versus a Muslim culture, you know, it, it's conflict in religion. And the land that Gaza is on has like a Nazareth, a Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you know, that's like, you know, you want to talk about, you know, this and that, you know, the birthplace of Christianity. So, so there's three religions, two religions that are only land, and one main religion, you know, that, that gives more more money to the other religion, the, the, the you know, Israeli side, you know? 2.3 million, actually. But you're right. Yeah, it, it's a little bit over 2 million. It's 2.3 million. And you know my, my argument would be why don't you, like, why is the United States, if they want to compete peace, include Israel or Egypt? It is very dense, but why is it we get those people and give them desert and a bill of land? It never happens, you know what? People don't want to invent, invest in infrastructure, they want to invest in war and conflict. It already is, man. It already is. It already is. And, you know, my idea is, like, you know, what I say is, like, you know, Let's get rid of, you know, they got migrants, like 100,000 migrants in New York. Why don't you just give them infrastructure, like, you know, in like New Mexico, Nevada, uh, uh, Texas, where there's no, where there's empty land, and uh, build up, uh, build up a city or some stuff. You know, it'll cost millions of dollars, but you spend millions of dollars on hotel rooms or stuff. If Americans can't get that figured out, you think they can get that figured out? You think it's right? are that smart? They don't care about that stuff. They don't care about that crap. And, you know, the problem I had, these idiots on the end, you know, news and shit, it's like, they go, Hamas versus Israel and sure. Hamas versus Israel. And they're creepy coins, like, those are Arabs want to come over, they want to pollute everywhere. You know how they really are. A lot of people believe in that shit, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I, I get they want to live in the land of their ancestors, but you gotta stand something, man. Like, you know, Israel is in the business for them not to leave or something. And if you look at Gaza, they're controlling the region, supposedly. And the whole history, like, Israel was an aggressor to a certain degree, man. I mean, these guys hate each other, man. But you look at the military of Israel, Israel is, you know, they have stealth jets, they have all these, all, all that, uh, all that power and stuff. And, you know, in the last couple of days, they really fucked up, didn't they? Yeah, well, you know, yeah, Nazi Germany, you know, they, uh, they kill, like, millions of, of Jewish. Or, if you think about Jewish people, like, as far as their religion goes, because there was Russian, Polish Jews, right? And we're not talking about nationality here, right? because not, when, not, when Nazi Germany was doing that, Israel didn't have, have a country. Right? They were nomads, right? But they 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 lived in that land, they never really had a country. After the second world, Israel became a nation. You know? And I and, you know, I understand like you know, if you're that, you know like you know, it's a Jewish religion, this and that, you should have your own country, but it's like, you know, you came to certain land where it's like Arabs and shit, and then you fucking take it over and America you know backs up the Israel people when you know it's like Christianity, well, it's just all messed up. But if you look at the United States, what they did, anti-Semitism never stopped. Really? Really? What did the United States do to Iraq, Iran, or some shit? 
Look at the liberal media. You know, look at Wikipedia. Some shit, bro. They per they they perpetuate destabilization of destabilization of the you know of regions and shit. You know, United States was in the business to to forcing people to give up the present. They had a coup and shit. You know that you know they they fundamentally destabilized you know the Palestinian region, man. The Muslim society and, and you know the Arabic world, man. Anti-Semitism, my ass. Shut the fuck up, man. Shut the fuck up with that shit. I don't like Sarafo. Eat a dick, bro. You know, it's, I don't care about that shit. anti semitism Do that fucking say about anti semitic asshole? I'm talking politics, region, geography, and, like, you know, money and all that shit. Your retarded ass is talking about anti semitism Man, I don't care, bro. I don't care about religion. I'm talking about geography, money, and history. You're talking about anti what semitism Actually, let me ask you, what is a Semite? Can you define that? Or are you going to run away from a chat room and you call me a uh, uh, F-A-G-G-O-T word? I don't care. I don't care what you think about. What is uh, what is a Semite? Can you actually, you know, if you have a mind, can you look it up? Can you tell me what a Semite is? I'm asking for your opinion. You still talking about anti-Semitism, right? See... Typical from Pal from Palestinian from Palestine era semi. You still didn't answer the fucking question, man. Are you that fucking slow, dude? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to argue with you, man. I Semi, uh, I mean, you know, traditionally, uh, it appeals to the Jewish people, but it, 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 like, when I looked them in, they have their own ethnicity or something like that. And some people, they just, they, not that they don't speak, they have their own ethnicity, which, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of, kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, right? I'm not anti-Jewish, anti-Israel, I'm anti-Judaism. I don't care for religious stuff. So if I'm anti semite based on, you know, Judaism, or you better believe I am, I'm anti-Christian, Catholic, anti-Muslim, anti-Buddhist, anti-everything. So what is this fucking Semite, dude? Because some people are confused, like, oh, you're anti-Semite, you want to kill the fucking Jews, but no, no, I'm not about, you know, anti-Israel. Like right now, a lot of times, if you look at history, some people might be, right? I'm anti-America. Why? I'm anti-America? Damn right I fucking am. What you fucking need is fucking do so right in fucking world, bro? You remember from last time, asshole? You remember from last time? You still gonna argue some stupid stuff? They have their own DNA structure. I mean, yeah, alright, all right, so this, you know. No, I'm not. Oh, well, because they called you an asshole and they insulted me in my drunkenness. Alright, you know, I get it. I get it, you're right. You have the right to do that. No, I'm actually very sober. But again, what you would say they have their own DNA is like, you know, they stick around their own. Not that say incest driven, what some people say, but they, they, they stay with their own people. So they, you know, they're assimilated. The Jewish people, like, you know, they don't go about the race or the culture to procreate. So I understand that too. But that has nothing to do with them, you know, having their own land and the history about that. They had Hasidics practice inbreeding. Uh, yeah, I think we talked last time. I was in the Hasidic environment, and they were just creepy, like, weird, man. Like, I felt on my leg that I was bitten by a snake or something. It, like, punctured my leg, except there was no bleeding. Like, you know, it was like, it was getting inflamed or something like that. Go, going to a Hasidic Jewish neighborhood, man. It was disturbing, man. It was creepy and evil as fuck. So I get that. It was some weird shit. You know, I've been to a lot of places that was like that. People are just evil and creepy, you know? But, all right, I, I didn't mean to, like, you know, get, you know, get angry or this and that. I just, you know, I, I just get really, really heated sometimes, man. Yeah, you know, Poland does allow... Uh, certain, certain migrants, but they're very, they're very strict about that. And you know, that's where I come from. That's not my country. I don't even have a country. 
I I don't, I don't have a country next day to America. I just live here. You know, if I if I go somewhere else, I probably assume that I just you know. I don't think you should say you know my country of Poland. I was born. That's not my country. United States. You know, United States never really protected me. New Jersey, New York, Delaware, Maryland, Massachusetts they never extend for me. Those people never care for sanctity, heterosexual being that's respectful and honest. So this is in my country. This is my country. I, I don't want to be here. I, I and I hate this place. I hate the United States of America. Those people never care for me. They respect me. They took somebody's life and they pr protected that he would stay dead and no one will talk about it. So don't get it twisted. I'm not a fucking American. I'm not a fucking Polish person. And as sure as I'm not Polak, and I know how to spell Polak, you idiots.